All right, I'm gonna see if I can walk you through how to use a mirrorless or DSLR camera for Zoom without a capture card. If I was doing it for anything else besides Zoom, I would probably invest in the capture card, but I'm not, and I'm cheap. So let's go. First, we'll go to zoom.us slash download. I went to this one here. Zoom client for meetings. Download that. When you download it, it'll be here. You can double click on it. It may open the window already. However, your window will probably look more like this. Um, I just kind of join meetings random times, um, especially one that I use for uh, mostly used for uh, Christmas lights, trying to plan for later on in the year. A whole group gets together and we'll uh, we'll assist each other through. The software on here but anyways once you get zoom downloaded you can come here you can go to the uh, settings and go to video the doors will be on HD webcam like that then you come over here to virtual background if you want to be somewhere besides your house for a little bit or make it look like you're somewhere else while you're still actually at home but for now we'll go none exit out of that uh, once you got zoom downloaded Next step is we want to get this remote tether app. And the way to get it through here, I use a Sony A7 III. And this one works great for my camera. I'll come here, download to Windows. If you're using a Windows, if you're using a Mac, of course, download the Mac. It looks like it's going to take a little bit longer than usual, of course. On the Sony, I had to change one of the settings in the camera menu. Um, I think I had to put it on PC only. And also I have it connected by the USB port. And I want to say the mini USB, whatever the one before USB-C is called, into the USB on the computer. All right, now that that's downloaded, we'll click on it, open it. We'll click next, next. Probably gonna get tired of hearing me say next and agree. Click agree, click next, next, install. Now this window you can't see, you may have the same window pop up. It says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Go ahead and click yes. We'll hit finish. Then we'll have this window pop up sometime soon. Maybe it's just not gonna pop up for me. There it is. Now our goal is to get this remote tether shooting function using live view. In order to do that, it's gonna have to download all three, but you just come up here, click download, Oh, no, that looks fine. Hit save. Next. Next. Agree. Next. Agree. Next. Next. Install. Click yes. Again, y'all can't see this window, but just click on yes. Then you'll finish. Now we don't need the viewer, so just exit out of the viewer. Um, you can come here to remote and just click start, but I never open this imaging edge desktop. So I'll just go from like you just turn it on your computer. You'll hit remote. Mine's already plugged in, mine's turned on, camera has to be on, and you'll double click that. And there you go. You can autofocus, turn that back off, 
for some reason when it's auto focusing the I don't know it just looks worse and also it keeps trying to find focus the whole time so we'll just turn that off minimize that for now we'll come back to it then we'll go back to our internet you'll need to download OBS the I want download installer 32-bit for some reason the one above it did not work for me I may have just miss a step when I was doing it I don't remember but right now I got the 32-bit everything works fine so go ahead and download that mine's already downloaded so in order I can so that I can record this screen for y'all but if it wasn't I go ahead and walk y'all through that but all right you'll just download that once that gets done we'll come here I'll post all four of these links down below um, come here we'll go to OBS virtual cam it should say 2.0.4 if it says anything else it's just another version that's fine come over here go to download it should start downloading once you click on that then while it's installing it's going to ask you a question about whether it's for four cameras or for one camera um, I just went ahead and did four I only own one camera but if I ever need it for something else I have the ability and also it doesn't cost anything so just go ahead and do four if you want um, but one's fine for zoom but all right once you get OBS you'll open it up it'll come to this window it'll probably try and walk you through a wizard um, I started the wizard but when I got to the streaming section I don't stream I'm only using it for zoom so I just exit out of the wizard from there but now that we're here this window that I my mouse is going around it should just be black y'all shouldn't see anything in this window but now we'll come down here to sources and then we'll hit add first let's start a zoom meeting I don't know if you need to start one or not but it works so we'll just go ahead and start one we'll come down here we'll hit this little cross and then we'll uh, go to display capture right here and then it should say display capture you can rename it if you want that's fine um, I'll just name it zoom and this will pop up display capture cursor hit OK that's fine all right and then we'll come back to zoom we'll end the meeting and then we'll sort of do the same exact thing come back down to sources hit the this right here the little cross but this time we're going to go window capture oh before we do that make sure that you have the remote open for some reason it doesn't work when it's minimized um, also when you're doing zoom the remote needs to be open in the background behind everything because if you minimize it it just freezes for some reason so you'll be up and moving around but your screen will be frozen um, but all right we'll come back to sources we'll come here we'll hit the little cross we'll hit window capture uh, you can name it whatever you want I'm just going to do window capture hit OK and now let's see if I can move this so that y'all can see what I'm doing Ooh, not that one it's not let me click on the right one here uh, let's see not that one there we go all right now to crop you'll hold alt and then you can just uh, minimize everything but your goal is going to be to maximize everything here but I'm going to minimize it get it out of y'all's way so hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing on OBS here I'll just do my nose and mouth that'll be fine all right so we'll come here to window capture uh, should say window remote capture method automatic uh, all that's good but you want to turn capture cursor off in case your mouth mouse goes in front of your face um, you don't want them to see that all right then you'll just hit OK and I'm gonna put it back on window capture this is the one you want to maximize 
but I'm going to leave it small so that y'all can see what I'm doing on OBS. I'm actually going to make it even smaller. Just get it out of the way here. All right. Now, once you get that part done, that's kind of weird. My mouse sitting right there. All right. Now, we'll go to tools. We'll go to virtual cam. Your auto start may already be selected. You can turn that off. Um, I leave it off. I don't need it auto starting. Then you just come down here. You hit start. Now, when you go back to zoom, you may have to exit zoom and reopen that. I don't know. I don't think I did. But anyways, come to video. There's my HD webcam. Mine is going to look weird. Yours should look fine if you maximize your screen. But you'll go to OBS camera. And if you maximize your screen and your uh, remote is on top in OBS, that is everything they will see. And that should be it for you. There we go. Next question is when you're using Zoom, do you use pants or no pants?